Hey, welcome to Bikes, Boats, and Bivouacs. We're on the road again, headed to Uniontown KOA in Connorsville, PA. Bring you back when I get there. We have made it to the Uniontown KOA Holiday in Connellsville, Pennsylvania. I'm in site P105, let's check it out. So here's my site. See, it's a back in sight, plenty deep enough. I didn't bother putting a mat out because I have a stoned area. I did put the awning out for some shade. We do have a couple of chairs out. There's a picnic table. A fire ring and look at that the Yuckahaney River right behind us check that out on the service side we have sewer I'll hook that up later electric and water you can see I got some grass area in the back there's Big Al and Dawn. Their rig fit in there real nice. And the hams are on the other side. You see I had to level it up. It's off about three inches. So I just used my boards rather than my levelers. It's a really nice site. So let's see what else they have here. Now right across from the site is an activity area. So we'll check that out. There is their dog park. Every KOA has a dog park that I've been to. Some of them even have two, as we found out on the Oh My trip. We do have Gaga Ball. And here is the Gaga Ball pit. A little sandbox. Small basketball court. We do have a pretty nice playground set with a slide and some bars to climb on. Outdoor checkers. They have some swing sets. And they have a lighted area for cornhole. So that's pretty nice. You also have a community fire pit right here and a swing out on the corner overlooking the river. Here is their pavilion. It's Christmas in July, so there is some decorations getting set up. The host of activities, I'll put that list in so you can see what all they have to do. How you doing today? Check out the bathroom. There's also a horseshoe pit right here. How you doing? Good. You see they do have individual restrooms. And they're showering. Okay, thank you. And here you can see they have individual restrooms here. And they also have larger bathrooms that have a shower. So they have a seat to change on, a sink, toilet, some hooks for your stuff, and a shower. Very clean, 
Very nice. So they did a nice job setting those up. They do have cabins that you can rent if you don't have a camper. And we've seen that at every KOA we've been to. They have cabins that you can rent. Nice patio area. So that's cool. This is the common area for lakefront. So if your site's not right on the water, you have an access point for the water and they also have more horseshoes down here. They're really nice. We do have two pools, one with a slide. Got plenty of chairs on the outside. You see they have a frog over there and then additional bathrooms. We do have umbrellas for shade and ADA access. Really nice pool. You have a laundry. Table. Looks like my table. Folding. Little bench seat. Can buy your soap here. And they have lots of machines. It is air conditioned. So it's $250 to wash and $225 to dry. And they they look pretty big. So I think you could put a lot in there. And it's air conditioned in here. There's the store. Plenty of toys. Number one issue, gotta have ice cream. Anything you need to have here. Including chairs, soda, shirts, mugs. Supper room with RV accessories, so maybe they'll have in that piece I need. In front of the store and the restaurant, they do have seating, and then there's seating in the back looking over the pool area. So here you can see a lot more seating area and when you sit here you can see the pool. Very nice. Pick your window up right there. We do have Girl Scout cookies for sale. So it is gated. They meet you at the gate to get you in and then they escort you out. There is propane for sale down there, and you can rent golf carts. The Yuck, in addition to the Yuckagani River, there is the Yuckagani, Allegheny Yuckagani Trail that goes from DC all the way to Pittsburgh. So you can ride that. Really nice. So that's cool. By the Yuckagani River, there's a dog way station, so you can walk your dogs all the way along here. And then this is where you can put your kayaks in, or take them out, or your tubes. You can also fish this. There's a railroad uh, across the Yuckagani River. Looks like we'll have a good weekend here. River looks a little low. I'd like to give you my thoughts on the Uniontown KOA in Connellsville, Pennsylvania. 
Now we stayed here as part of the Oh My trip on our way home. So we hit Ohio, Michigan, and Indiana. On our way back, we stopped at the Uniontown KOA in Connellsville. This is in the western part of Pennsylvania and it's right along the Yuckahaney River and also the uh, CNO bike trail, a part of the uh, rails to trails, bike trails from Pennsylvania down to DC. Uh, we really enjoyed this place. We had uh, sites that backed right up to the water. Uh, the staff was friendly. There were plenty of amenities. We loved the pool and we loved the uh, little snack shop that they had there. If you enjoy kayaking or uh, canoeing and, and rafting or tubing, uh, the Yuckahaney River is perfect for that and this campground makes a great drop off or pick up spot. You can also fish in the Yuckahaney River. I did see plenty of fish in there when we were kayaking and I did bust my, my rod <laughs> when I got snagged. Uh, also, that bike trail literally goes right through the campground. So you can jump on there or if you're camping there and you want to you know, run your bikes further up the trail and then bike down to the trail, that's an option for you. If you're at the Uniontown KOA and you jump on the bike trail, now that bike trail goes from Pittsburgh to DC. If you turn left and go two miles up river, you'll see uh, an area you can pull off and it's a scenic overlook. That's this bridge over the Yuckagani River. In a subsequent video, you'll see us kayaking on the river and you'll also see a bike ride where we stop at an overlook an old railroad bridge that overlooks the Yuckahaney River. So there's a lot to do there, a lot to keep you entertained and busy. We have plenty of activities for kids. It's very kid friendly. Uh, a lot of those activities are organized, but they also have a playground there. And uh, we really enjoyed our time at our last overnight stay on the Oh My trip. The main feature is the river and the trail, but of the campground itself, it's the pool. The pool was really nice. We spent a lot of time in that pool. So I hope you found this video really interesting. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel. It's free, it helps me out a lot. Also ring that bell and you'll be notified every time I put up a new video and give the video a thumbs up, that helps too. But more important than all that, go have some fun out there. Hey, thanks for watching.